isn't this cool? The Lake Barber Loop Trail goes right behind the FMCA campground. So pretty back here. Really, really nice. It's another rainy day. <sighs> we're leaving the Western Kentucky RV Park and we're going to Cincinnati to the FMCA campground for four days. Uh, so this will be our last big travel day until we get to Dayton Convention. So we're looking forward to that, but we are not looking forward to driving in the rain again, which is what we did yesterday. It's about a four hour run. And about 233 miles and we're going to be going into a new time zone which is the eastern time zone we're hoping to be on the road in probably half hour oh boy <laughs> thankfully it has stopped raining and the garmin keeps giving us wrong directions it told us to get off the last exit turn around and come back to the gas station that's in the middle. It's so bizarre. You want to move it up? Oh, really? Oh dear, okay. Oh no, no, then they should have said something. It just says trucks one way and cars the other. They didn't even mention all of these. And after our little gas stop, we're back on the road again. Of course, more construction. What else is new? I <laughs> know, uh, honey, we're gonna take you right now. You're afraid of mommy's gonna get the garbage out for me. Then I'm gonna find something to make for lunch. All right. Girl, did you I do. Oh, you did? I can't eat. Oh, I no, can't I did. Just turn it off, yeah. After stopping at a rest stop, giving Enzo a little walk and lunch, we're back on the road again. But at least it's getting sunnier out. We're not fond of going through big cities, but there's all no other way of getting to the FMCA campground. This part of Cincinnati seems to be built on a mountainside. Take the exit on the right toward Ohio 32 East. We're getting closer. Turn left at the traffic light, then take the third right. And there is the FMCA sign. And we're here! Woohoo! I have this remote chicken too. So I knew we already had a site 22. So we really pretty much checked ourselves in online and park. We have electric and water site which is perfect for four nights. We got to meet our neighbors to the left, who also own a Tiffin. Okay, we arrived at FMCA campground. We're back in the, uh, and it's kind of on pavement sites. The other sites over there are nice and nicer, but unfortunately, when I booked this in January, they were all booked. Go figure. Lucy's on the floor, washing her face. Rudy's sleeping on the dash. And Desi's underneath my feet. There you are, little boy. Oh, honey. You sleeping? His ears are moving. Sorry, his ears, buddy. He's not opening his eyes. And then I'm copying all the dash cam video to my external hard drive for future use. We have our flowers. 
actually our herbs and parsley. My uh, basil is not doing well and kind of curled up because he got ditched on the floor. But the rosemary is still doing really good. So Mike went to go see if he could figure out where the dog walk is. Or not the dog walk, it says it's a walking path. So it's got to be somewhere. So I'm walk over that knoll before. We have a whole bunch of tiffins here. Here, and one right there. <laughs> it's electric only these sites. So Mike went off to look for the walking path. And I thought that was him coming back, but it's not. So there's a gate key code. So I armed him with that, and he and Enzo are off to go see what's going on. So, oh uh, well. Uh, say number five. We stay here for four nights. Mike has to work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Turns out he took Thursday off. So we're going to be going from here. We'll be going to Dayton, KOA. Well, we have full hookups, which will be nice. We've been there before, 12 years ago. And then we're going to go to the ham fetch. So, so. Then he'll be on vacation, so he'll be a much, much happier camper. Because right now he's grumpy because he has to work. <laughs> It's like, oh well. I have no idea what Desi's doing, being nosy. World's big world, world's biggest dog park. Oh, he likes it. He's just gonna run back to you. Why don't run to me? Run. You like stick your leg. Put you on a lunge line. Da 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 da. <laughs> It's such, such a bonehead. We're going to hike the Bass Island Trail. It's a 2.3 mile out and back trail. Looks pretty nice. Life along the river. River valleys such as this one are rich in cultural history. This runs along the road so it's a little loud but it is really gorgeous. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is the Columbia Connector Trail. Since this is only beginning the coming years, this trail will connect riders and walkers to neighborhoods and businesses along Wooster Pike and provide a critical link to other regional networks. Well, that's pretty cool. They're going to keep growing this thing. The Little Miami Railroad. The bike hike trail that you're now traversing follows what was once the corridor for the area's first railroad. Oh, so it's a rail trail. Cool. There's tons of little daisies and all kinds of flowers. Really nice. We wound up on the Little Miami Scenic Trail. It's the fourth longest paved trail in the United States, running 78.1 miles through five southwestern counties in the state of Ohio. The multi-use rail trail sees heavy recreational use by hikers and bikers, as well as the occasional horseback rider. And these are honeysuckles. I love the smell. I think there's bats up there. 
I guess they're sleeping. <laughs> the Indiana bat is an endangered species native to this region and deserving our protection. Cool. Now we've turned around and we're backtracking, going back to the car. We're not doing 73 miles today. <laughs> I think we actually did like four miles. And we did this after Mike got out of work at two. Yes, and we always pick up after our pets. Yes, it was a cloudy day today, but it didn't rain on us. And that's what counts. The cats are all milling around. I don't know what they're up to. Just sitting there staring at Mike while he's working. And Desi is now picking on his sister, Lucy. But she's not going to let him have that chair. That's hers. <laughs> and there's Desi in Enzo's bed. Mike took Enzo out for a walk through the raindrops because it's raining again. And Desi decided that was going to be his. Uh, Enzo's not going to be too thrilled when he gets back in. I told Desi that wasn't his bed, but he just looked at me those big, innocent eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep, it's raining again. It's coming down pretty steadily. But it's raining harder in Texas, so I'm glad I'm here. Uh, everybody's just sitting in their coaches, waiting it out, hoping it will stop soon. <laughs> Yay, stop raining. You have a little sunset over there. He's looking out the front window. Oh, looky. Excitement outside the gates. And two police cars. God, oh no, what the hell's going on out there? Because he's watching. Where is he? There he is. She's watching Daddy, probably. Uh, these little suckers are flashing all over the place. No idea what's going on. Later on, we heard from one of the other campers there was an accident right outside the campground entrance. <laughs> and it's time for the Zoomies. Lucy and Desi are playing. Of course, Lucy's playing all over... Mike's laptop. Yeah, she she's bad at that. Desi's hiding out of the bed. I don't know if you can see him. He's yeah. She knows where he is. Yep, there he is. Here he comes. <laughs> she's back on the table, back on the couch. Oh, there he is, up on the bed. She knows where he went. So I'm not sure what she's up to. She just went under the bed. Desi's still on top. Oh, you can see her under the bed. He just jumped on a ice chest. There he is. <laughs> Chase her out. Oh no. Where'd she go? There she is. <laughs> a little wrestling there. Uh, race back. I can't imagine what this sounds like outside. Ten months old and they're still crazy. What do you think, Enzo? Look at that 
that face. Uh, I think Desi's getting a little tired. Lucy, don't go behind there. You know you don't fit. Yeah. Oh no, she's walking across Mike's computer. That's gonna really tick him off. And the games continue. <laughs> Look what I have behind my computer. <laughs> he thinks he fits really nicely right here. Can he even wake up? Nope. I'm even gonna wake up. I'm gonna slide that back, am I? My little feet. Mike picking up his Amazon package. A little place called the Village Post. And so sitting here. Wondering where Daddy went. <laughs> and he's got it. Yeah, package. Isn't this cool? The Lake Barber Loop Trail goes right behind the FMCA campground. So pretty back here. Really, really nice. Looks like somebody painted it. And you got pretty views of the lake. And we walk through some different people's property. It's a little country club we just walked through. See the Canadian geese just sitting out there motionless? Look at all the Canadian geese goslings. Aren't they cute? I guess that's mom right there. That must be dad. <laughs> you know, they mate for life. I'm guessing those are male canning geese. And there's the campground. What's really nice is they have a gate that leads from the campground to this park. And uh, you need a code to get back into the campground. What a wonderful feature to be able to walk that path anytime you wanted to. So these are, what are they again? Samosas. Samosas. Packages up there. Packages up there. Okay, this one needs to explain samosas. Is that these are like Indian egg rolls, but better. Okay. Uh, these are really, I don't think these are gonna hold up to real Indian samosas, but we'll see. Okay. Well, here's the box. It's Trader Joe's mini chicken. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. Smosis. Yeah, let's try them out. We went to Trader Joe's for our regular food shopping, but we were craving Thai and Indian food. So we got these guys. This is vegetable pie Thai. Now I know they're prepackaged foods, but every now and then you have to be bad. Look at it. Look at that nose going. He smells them. They were actually pretty good. Very enjoyable. And we're hooking up the toe. This is our last leg. We have the new camera up on the top. You can barely see that. Let's see if this will work. Since we seem to can't, can't get the camera on the back to work anymore. Let's see how this works. 
The camera is what came in the Amazon package. We were tired of being blind and not being able to see our toad. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe, and ring that little notification bell. In our next video, we're going to Dayton and Hamvention. Woohoo! Have a good one!